Chief Compton's the winner of our race today. Woo, yeah, all right, all right. Thank you. Great oh, thank job, you, Chief. Thank you very it much. It was a great win for you today. Man, it was a great win for us today. I, I got to tell you, you know, I just, uh, I got to thank the uh, Home Depot Bowen 707 E3 Century. It just uh, really came in today, and, and uh, we're really proud of the people there at Path Blue Ribbon and Goodyear for uh, getting on board with us uh, to make this happen. So it was a great day for us. Definitely. How'd the first part of the race set you to win? Ooh, well, let me tell you, uh, you know, it was starting out a little rocky. We were running about 30 minutes late out of the chocks, and uh, we had a great pit crew. They put us together. They got everything taken care of, and uh, they worked a miracle. Got us off, uh, so we were we were heading down south to the uh, AAA uh, Houdat uh, Moa before you could say, hey, it's time to race. All right, Chief, your pit strategy was outstanding. Whose idea was that? Well, I'll tell you, I got I to gotta thank my crew chief, Chief uh, Colonel Candy, for that. He, uh, he decided to take two, uh, two on the left side on the wheels, and uh, we, just, we took a quarter around the wedge out of the road dome. And uh, it just started really coming to us after that and really, really going flying good. So uh, uh, hats off to my crew chief. He, he brought us on on that one. Yeah, definitely. Midway through the race, you took some chances that made some other flyers mad. Was that your fault? No, no, that wasn't my fault. That was racing. Uh, you know, flying, flying. If you don't like flying, then you get out of it. Uh, you know, we had those uh, bombers out there, uh, diets come up there, and we we're heading up to the house with the 111 refueling. And, uh, you know, trying to get up there, that 135 gets on that Sunoco race fuel. And they got no way, so we bumped them out of the way. You know, that's just racing. And, uh, you know, we had to take a crew chief, put them on a rope, put them out back, and put a little speed tape on the, on the tail, and we're back into it, you know. So, uh, you know, got to do what you got to do. And if he doesn't like that, he shouldn't be racing. All right. The LFE portion uh, was phenomenal. Walk oh, us through you. that part. Well, let me tell you, uh, you know, large, large uh, group of people involved in that, you know, our team, we came together uh, and, uh, you know, 63rd, 64th, we're all, we're all competing for points here and it's a tight race. And, uh, you know, all I can say is, uh, Blue, we took it and uh, there was nothing they could do about it and we walked away 24-24 effective. I mean, I don't think you're getting better than that. I mean, it was just a great race for us. I agree with you 100%. At the end, you were worried that you wouldn't pull this, or you worried you wouldn't pull this off. Yeah, yeah, I was a little concerned, you know. I mean, we came back and uh, it was super sorry. There's all kinds of things that go wrong, a long, long, long race. And, uh, you know, we're getting down to the final stretch and we got to go in transition, you know. And I got uh, a lot of young pilots up front, you know. And I mean, it'd take one mistake and we're out of the race, you know. So, uh, uh, really concerned. But, you know, when we came down that last time, man, I really just wasn't enough O's and smooth to explain how that all came together. So, it was great. All right, well, thank you, Chief. Well, thank you. And uh, I just, you know, that uh, ends my briefing, depending on your questions. No questions here, Chief. Awesome, thank you. Woo! Yeah! All right, well, that's Chief Compton for you. He's a modest winner. Back to you, Conch.